Hello, folks. This is Ben from Hoosier Back Outdoors, and you've reached the best bushcraft channel on YouTube. You've reached Budget Bushcraft. If there's anything you would like to know about knives, saws, hammocks, tents, camping, you've come to the right spot. This is Budget Bushcraft. But be careful. He's a Purdue fan. Hey, let's go take a look at the Nemo Hornet 2P tent. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. I don't know if you can hear the uh, thunder in the background. But we're going to actually give this a really good test tonight. This is brand new out of the box, so it's still going to have all the plastic and the rubber bands and all that crazy crud. Who needs instructions? We toss those off to the side. does come with six steaks and a little bit of extra cordage uh, I'm gonna assume because I'm a dude and I'm not gonna look at the instructions uh, are for the uh, extra guy out points it only comes with six and from all the research that I've done you need to actually have ten to pull the tent out in all directions uh, beyond the original six that come with it. This is the Rainfly that comes with the vestibules and I believe the vestibules are like 24 inches um, from the actual tent itself which is really really good. Um, I'll put a link above um, to the uh, Van Gogh Banshee 200 tent which I absolutely love as a four season tent. This is a three season tent, uh, but it might survive as a four season. The um, Banshee 200 is a heavier material and comes with the fly attached, uh, separated, but attached to uh, the tent itself. So let's get started. trying to do this into the wind and then the wind shifted. FMF. Technically, this is a freestanding tent, though I don't know that I would recommend you use this as a freestanding tent. How many times I say that? Got it right. Um, it will stand on its own, though it's not going to last very well in the wind. We could make a few adjustments on the ground turf at this point. Uh, but for purposes of this video, uh, yeah, I think this will be alright. On this new edition, we have what they call a, uh, a fly bar. Basically opens up the, uh, the top section of it. The previous version of this tent um, just had a single tie point here and down here, which basically meant that it just came up to a V, um, leaving a little bit less headroom. So, let's see uh, what this looks like with a fly on it.
Okay, so at the foot end of the tent, it doesn't have the same connection. So we're gonna actually have to uh, stake these out. Hence, uh, I believe, the two extra stakes that come with this. And that is the fully assembled Nemo Hornet 2P tent. So at this point, we have very easy open zippers, but don't catch them. It's <laughs> part of the fly. And you can tie this back as well. It is seam sealed in all the corners, across the bottom, across the top. Um, I am six feet tall and I've got headroom with a baseball cap on. If I didn't suspect that it was going to rain tonight, I would have left the rain fly off. Um, there's plenty of no CM fabric up here just for stargazing and I don't know why I can't come up with that word. Anyway. You've got a couple of pockets here, one in the front, one in the back. It does have two doors. It does have two full vestibules. I think if the weather were inclement um, during that three season area this tent is made for, uh, these vestibules would be great for um, like having a cook stove right here. Um, you know, nothing crazy but a cook stove, maybe a small alcohol stove, uh, shouldn't affect the fabric. I will list, pardon me, if I get sweat dripping in my eyes. Um, this seems like a pretty good tent. I'll keep you informed. Um, I do have a camping trip planned uh, in July and in northeastern Ohio. And I'll find out whether or not this thing is worth the money. Do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. And as I don't put a whole lot of content out on a regular basis, hit that notification bell so that you know the next time that I review something. And by the way, Spend the time, not the money. Take care.